Hello friends, today let's solve binary tree cameras. Given a binary tree, we install cameras on the nodes of the tree. Each camera at a node can monitor its parent, itself, and its immediate children. Calculate the minimum number of cameras needed to monitor all nodes of the tree. Let's see these two examples. In the first example, we only need to put one camera here because it can monitor its children and uh, its parent. In this example, we need to at least put the two cameras. So how to solve this problem? For a binary tree problem, usually we can use a recursive algorithm. Mm. But uh, we need to think about uh, which order should we do the recursive or the DFS, the pre-order or in-order or post-order. In this example, uh, for this problem, we'd better use a post-order. Why? Because, for example, for this node, whether we want to put a camera here is based on its children uh, states. For example, if uh, one of its children cannot be monitored, we need to put a camera here. Or uh, both of his children can be covered but does not have any mon uh, camera. This state cannot be monitored. So uh, here is the thing. Uh, the current state is based on its children's state. So we need to do a post order. So now let's think about the states carefully. In general, we have two states. Like uh, we put a camera here or we don't put a camera here. But uh, for we do not uh, put a camera here, we actually have two detailed uh, states. That is, even if it does not have a camera, it can be monitored. Or uh, it has no camera and it cannot be monitored. Mm, let's see in which state we need to put a camera. That is. Uh, any of its children cannot be monitored. We need to put a camera here. So we say we set we put a camera here to one, and we set uh, uh, it cannot be monitored to zero. Right. Uh, why do we need a number two? Because actually. Except these two states, we have other states. For example, that is if the root, uh, the node is null. The, if the node is null, we set it to two, set it to two. And also, uh, if here is a camera, this state uh, for this node, it does not have a camera, but it can be monitored. So this state is also two. Okay, so now let's write the code, then you can understand it better. So the zero is that it cannot, uh, this node cannot be, uh, cannot be monitored. If one, we, we are sure that we must put a camera here. Uh, what is two? Um, no camera, but uh, no camera but uh, can be monitored and and uh, we set uh, this part including it is a non node okay we need a global variable we call it total that is total cameras we need so uh, we must uh, return the total but uh, here is a help function we need to call a help function so, and the return value is int. This part is tree node root. So here's the base case. If the root is null, we return two. And then we do the post order uh, traversal. So left is helper and the root dot left int right equal to helper root dot right. So let's see. Uh, as long as one of its children 
cannot be monitored. So left equal to zero or right equal to zero. We have to put a camera. So turtle should increment by one. And we return one. And uh, what is we cannot be monitored? That means if less left equal to two and uh, right equal to two. Uh, because even all of its, uh, for example, this part, uh, left and right all return two right because it's not. This part should return zero because it cannot be monitored. So we return zero. Else, we return two. Uh, this part including it is a noun. Um, this is, in this function, we should also think some base case or edge cases. One is the node, uh, the root is null, we just return two. So the total is not increment. But the other thing that, uh, what if it only has one node? So the left is two, the right is two, we return zero. But actually we should at least put a one camera here. So if the helper equal, uh, sorry, helper root equal to zero, we should uh, increment the total by one. Okay. Should work. Thank you for watching. See you next time.